Hello, this is a uh, Viking Stories update. It's been a while since I've been posted videos here, and that's because this uh, book that I'm writing, uh, 12,000 years of Scandinavian history, is due to be handed in to my publisher in one week. So <laughs> it's been fairly busy. Uh, but right now I'm at this very special place. I've been invited uh, to the... Um, home of a uh, famous Norwegian painter, Odd Nardrum, and, and maybe I'll uh, put some um, paintings of his up here for you to see, for the, those of you who don't know him. And um, the person who's invited me is another painter, Jan uh, Obertuv here. Hello. Hello. And, um, and the thing is, I've been invited here to talk on, uh, on uh, this, uh, is it a podcast or is it a uh, channel? That we have a YouTube channel podcast called The Cave of the Pillars, and we're concerned with myths, philosophy, and classical culture in general. So this is why we wanted to talk to you. And um, we are going to go in there and do a recording now, talking about the mythology and the myths and, and starting in the Viking Age, I presume. Yes, to get yeah. some context first. And I, what I really uh, look forward to is is to get into Norse mythology and the powerful images that you have there. Um, as a painter myself, I'm very concerned with that painters and people who are so-called creative should think much more mythically and in powerful archetypal images. So I'm hoping our thoughts, uh, our talk and your thoughts on uh, seeing history across time as one organic totality can uh, give people a right mindset if they want to create something eternal. And uh, I really like this. This is sort of like the crossroads of uh, history that, that I uh, bring to the table and, and you work, have dedicated your life, I guess, to, to art and, and expressing yourself as a, uh, a painter. And, and we can find some common ground here. And this is, uh, this is quite uh, unique, I think, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to our talk. And I'll put a link here, uh, maybe down below, actually. When, uh, how long do you think it will be before our talk is uh, published? Yeah. I am not sure, but uh, I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> and this place here, uh, maybe we can walk out here. Yeah. It's a very, very special place. And Old Nardrum, the painter, has a very special place in, in, uh, among Norwegians. He's... Uh, like many uh, people in Norway, are a little bit controversial, I guess, because we, uh, in a sense, object to the conformity. Right. Well, that, I guess it's part of why we have in, uh, invited you as well. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I think um, the first thing you need to learn is to think out of these uh, typical art historical and, I guess, archaeological boxes with cultures and times being completely separate not having contact at all yeah um, and to see the organic contact between cultures between times uh, i think that can really make you grow as a human being as such but uh, also as an artist particularly as as someone who's painting or writing or being a composer yeah um, working in philosophy anything that has to do with what we call classical values I, I took us to the side there was a little wind back there so yeah. that's why we're but it, this is such a beautiful place also i'm uh, I got uh, salt water. Yeah, I do a little panorama here. I got uh, salt water in my uh, in my hair. You were bathing this morning uh, because I went down there and, and went uh, for a morning swim. Uh, and and up here um, is uh, where you work, right? And uh, also a lot of other painters who come here and try to learn to our students, yeah, yeah, to to paint yeah. the the Nidrum way. Maybe we can finish by this beautiful statue oh, yeah, here. Yeah. There are some beautiful statues all around here, also. So yeah. it was kind of. Uh, mesmerizing or a little bit um uh well a great experience this morning going down for a for a swim and this is and also a historical uh, historical landscape and it's not too far off i guess that way where uh um Ola the holy won one of his most decisive battles oh yeah, yeah. oh well, that's yeah, yeah. uh that's something so, that's unique we're not going to talk specifically about that but uh yeah i i think um what you have done in your videos to to uh, especially this thing about Viking culture going back to the Bronze Age and the contact between Scandinavia and the Mediterranean of the Bronze Age. Those are the kind of things I think if you start 
thinking like that, uh, your mind expands and you start thinking like that in other fields as well. And that's what I hope to get out of our conversation primarily. And I think that's because we both are interesting, interested in depth. Yeah. Not just uh, this uh, shallow, superficial uh, facade of uh, everyday modern life yeah, that, uh, maybe well, we object to a little bit, both of us. Right, and I think it's, um, I think you talked about it, uh, that in the archaeological field that there is a specific ideas of what you shall, what opinions you shall have and shall not have. Yes. And you can very much see that in also with painters that the old times are the 1800s. And I'm thinking, well, okay, the Renaissance, that's a, that's quite old, but the Greeks are just something completely different. Yeah. Um, and what you're, the way you're thinking, and that's why I like, what I like so much about your channel, is that it's one time that where things are contemporaneous. And, you know, as mm, a figurative yeah. painter, you cannot say that, oh, I live in different times, so I cannot compare my paintings with Rembrandt. No. Well, I have to. And I see that, oh, fortunately, my paintings are not so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty is a very important part of this also, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I guess we're going in to do a uh, recording here and uh, um, the, your channel is called Cave of uh, Apelles. Apelles, who was a Greek painter. Yes, yes. And uh, you have some very interesting guests and talks on this channel. So I would like to recommend that channel as well. Absolutely. So um, from the beautiful spring setting south in Norway, where we are now, I, I bid you farewell and we will go and, uh, and uh, record our video.